hi students in this video we will learn about an identity which is a plus b whole square all right a plus b whole square all right let us see what does a plus b whole square is what is a plus b whole square we will see that all right now for example if we have 3 square okay if we have 3 square what does it mean it means we should multiply 3 into 3 isn't it so 3 3 is 9 so 3 square is equal to 9 isn't it now in the same way we have a plus b whole square all right it means we should multiply a plus b and a plus b isn't it we should multiply this a plus b into a plus b isn't it okay now let us multiply these terms a into a will give us a square a into b will give us a b what is the sign see the sign of a is plus and the sign of b is also plus so plus into plus will give us plus sign isn't it so we multiplied the first terms a into a we got a square then a into b we got a b isn't it we are done with a now let us multiply b and a b into a will give us b a what sign sign of b is also plus sign of b is plus sign of a is also plus so we will have plus into plus plus now b into b will give us b square and now signs plus and plus will give us plus only right all right now we have a square plus a b plus b a plus b square okay now this terms a b and b a they are not different they are actually same terms a b and b a these two are same terms so i'll give you a simple example suppose you have 3 into 2 3 into 2 is also 6 2 into 3 is also 6 isn't it so like we have 3 into 2 is equal to 2 into 3 a is equal to b a into b is also equal to b into a all right these two terms are same a b is same as b a all right so this part will become a square plus a b plus in place of b a let us write a b plus b square why did we write a b in place of b a because these two terms are same isn't it a b and b a both are same now let us simplify further a square plus a b is one time here a b is one time so total how many times it is two times so 2ab plus b square all right now check can we simplify this any further no we cannot because it is a square here and it is ab okay these two are unlike terms and in fact these three are unlike terms we cannot add or subtract unlike terms isn't it hence we have a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square all right okay what do we have we have a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square all right now what i have observed is most of the students will make this mistake if they are asked to simplify a plus b whole square they will write only a square plus b square and they will forget this term 2ab all right so remember a square plus b whole square is not a square plus b square all right this is wrong all right don't forget this 2ab a plus b whole square is in fact a square plus 2ab plus b square isn't it and some students will also write this as a square plus b square plus 2ab 
which is correct all right this this two these two uh, things are equal all right a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square or a square plus b square plus 2ab all right so a plus b whole square is equal to how much a square plus 2ab plus b square okay is it clear now let us uh, take one example and uh, solve it all right all right we will use uh, this a plus b whole square identity to solve one problem let us write x plus 5 whole square suppose if you want to simplify this using the same uh, using the identity a plus b whole square or using the formula a plus b whole square all right now what did we learn we learned that a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square isn't it okay so we have x plus phi whole square so in place of x in sorry in place of a we have x in place of a we have x isn't it in place of b we have phi all right in place of a we have x in place of b we have phi so this will become x square because in place of a we have x all right plus 2 in place of a we have x in place of b we have phi okay write this in brackets plus b square which is phi square all right so this is equal to x square plus 2x into phi 2 into x into phi okay first we should multiply the numbers 2 into 5 is 10 10 and x so it will be 10 x plus 5 square 5 into 5 25 all right can we further simplify this can we simplify this any further no we cannot because all these three terms are unlike terms all right all these three terms are unlike terms so we have x plus 5 whole square is equal to x square plus 10x plus 25 okay is it clear all right 